In classical physics, electrons moving through a material should experience resistance, losing energy due to scattering from atoms and imperfections. However, graphene, an atom-thick sheet of carbon, defies these expectations with electron mobility so high that it behaves more like a perfect conductor than a conventional solid. Why does this happen, and does it challenge our understanding of electron transport? Graphene's electrons don't behave like normal particles with mass. Instead, they act as quasi-relativistic Dirac fermions, moving at a constant velocity of about 1 slash 300 the speed of light, regardless of their energy. This means they don't slow down like ordinary electrons in metals. Why? Unlike most materials where electrons scatter due to impurities and lattice vibrations, graphene's unique honeycomb lattice creates a linear energy-momentum relationship, similar to photons in a vacuum. This leads to several paradoxical effects. Near ballistic transport, electrons in graphene can travel micrometers without scattering, while in copper, they scatter after just nanometers. This suggests an almost frictionless flow of charge, violating expectations from classical resistivity. Klein tunneling. Normally, a potential barrier stops electrons, but in graphene, electrons pass right through as if the barrier didn't exist. A phenomenon known as Klein tunneling, predicted in quantum field theory but never observed in ordinary solids. Quantum Hall effect at room temperature. The Hall effect, where a magnetic field deflects electrons, takes on a strange quantum version in graphene, occurring even at room temperature, unlike conventional materials that require ultra low temperatures. Superconductivity like behavior without superconductivity. Some experiments suggest that under special conditions, graphene can host electron flows that mimic superconductors even though it technically isn't one? But if graphene's electrons behave like massless particles, why do other 2D materials like molybdenum disulfide or boron nitride not show the same extreme effects? What makes graphene so special? Some theories suggest that hidden symmetries in graphene's lattice protect its unusual electron properties, while others point to subtle quantum interactions that haven't been fully understood yet. Could this lead to new physics? Some researchers believe graphene might provide clues about unifying quantum mechanics and relativity since its electrons act like mini relativistic particles. Others think graphene could be the key to ultra-fast transistors, new quantum materials, and even exotic superconductors. Graphene's conductivity anomaly isn't just a scientific curiosity. It forces us to rethink the very nature of electron behavior in solids. If electrons can move with such little resistance, are there other undiscovered materials that might rival graphene or even surpass it? Could we one day engineer materials where electrons move with zero loss without needing extreme conditions like in superconductors? The answers to these questions could redefine the future of electronics, computing, and materials science. In conventional materials, electrons move through a lattice and experience scattering from defects, phonons, and impurities leading to electrical resistance. Graphene, a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice, exhibits electron mobility orders of magnitude higher than traditional semiconductors. This defies classical transport models as electrons in graphene behave more like massless relativistic particles than conventional charge carriers. Silicon, for example, has an electron mobility of about 1,400 cm2 slash Vs, whereas graphene can exceed 200 000 cm2 slash vs at room temperature graphene's electrons move as if on a superhighway with no speed limits while conventional materials resemble crowded city streets full of obstacles graphene's electronic structure forms a linear energy dispersion relation near the d rock points where electrons behave as massless dirac fermions obeying relativistic quantum mechanics rather than classical newtonian physics this results in unique transport phenomena, such as Klein tunneling, where electrons pass through potential barriers with zero reflection. Unlike metals and semiconductors, graphene's charge carriers do not experience conventional backscattering. In graphene-based transistors, for instance, electron flow remains highly efficient even at nanoscales, surpassing conventional FETs that suffer from carrier scattering.
While regular electrons in materials act like billiard balls bouncing off walls, graphene's electrons behave like ghosts, passing effortlessly through barriers. Most conductors and semiconductors have well-defined band gaps that dictate charge carrier behavior, but graphene is a zero-gap semiconductor. Its conduction and valence bands touch at discrete points, leading to an unusual density of states and allowing for uninterrupted electron transport. This gapless nature contributes to its ultra-high conductivity and makes it difficult to switch off graphene-based electronic devices. Graphene-based electronic circuits, for example, have faced challenges in digital applications due to the inability to achieve a true off state, unlike silicon transistors. Graphene's electronic structure is like a highway without toll booths. There is no restriction to slow down or block the flow of charge carriers. Graphene exhibits an unconventional quantum hall effect. QHE, even at room temperature, unlike traditional materials where QHE appears only at cryogenic temperatures. This is due to the robustness of its charge carriers and their unique half-inch material quantum state of Hall conductivity. A direct consequence of its Dirac-like charge carriers and the Berry phase of P in its electronic wave function. In a strong magnetic field, graphene displays quantized Hall resistance plateaus at unexpectedly high temperatures, making it promising for metrology applications. Graphene's electrons follow distinct quantum rules, like a train that always stops at specific stations regardless of external conditions, while regular conductors behave more unpredictably. Klein tunneling, a relativistic quantum effect, allows graphene's electrons to pass through high-energy barriers without reflection. Additionally, graphene supports ballistic transport, meaning electrons travel micrometer distances without scattering, a stark contrast to metals where mean free paths are much shorter due to phonon interactions. This contradicts conventional transport theory, where scattering is expected to dominate at room temperature. Graphene nanoribbons, for example, show ballistic transport behavior at scales exceeding one, um, an effect rarely seen in classical conductors. While electrons in traditional materials behave like runners navigating a maze full of obstacles, graphene's charge carriers move like bullets in a vacuum, unhindered by resistance. In most materials, electrical resistance arises from electron-phonon interactions where thermal vibrations of the lattice scatter charge carriers. Graphene's two-dimensional honeycomb structure leads to reduced electron-phonon coupling, allowing for ultra-high mobility. Even at high temperatures, phonon scattering in graphene remains weak, maintaining its exceptional conductivity. Unlike copper, for instance, whose resistance increases significantly with temperature, graphene maintains high conductivity even when heated. Electrons in graphene move like ice skaters on a frictionless rink, while those in traditional conductors skate over rough terrain full of obstacles. Graphene's charge transport differs from conventional semiconductors due to its symmetric conduction and valence bands, allowing seamless switching between electron-like and hole-like carriers. This ambipolar behavior means graphene can conduct both negative and positive charge carriers with similar efficiency, unlike silicon-based materials where electrons and holes have distinct mobilities. Graphene field effect transistors, FETs, for instance, exhibit nearly symmetric current voltage characteristics, making them ideal for flexible and ultra-fast electronics. While conventional semiconductors act like one-way streets, graphene behaves like a two-lane highway where electrons and holes move equally well in opposite directions. Graphene's electronic properties can be modulated by applying external electric fields, chemical doping, or strain engineering. Unlike metals, where carrier concentration is fixed, graphene's Fermi level can be tuned dynamically, altering its conductivity in real time. This tunability is a key advantage for designing next-generation nanoelectronic devices and flexible circuits. Graphene-based sensors, for instance, can detect single gas molecules by shifting their electrical resistance in response to external stimuli. Graphene is like an adaptive filter that changes its transparency depending on environmental conditions, while regular conductors behave more 
rigidly, graphene's exceptional conductivity and quantum transport properties make it a prime candidate for applications in ultra-fast transistors, flexible electronics and quantum computing. Its unique behavior, however, also presents challenges, such as the need for controlled bandgap engineering and scalable manufacturing methods. Understanding and harnessing graphene's transport anomalies remains a major focus of condensed matter physics and materials science. Graphene-based spintronics, for example, aims to leverage its long spin coherence length for quantum information processing, potentially revolutionizing future computing technologies. Graphene's role in future electronics is like discovering a new type of fuel that is vastly more efficient, but requires a complete redesign of existing engines to harness its full potential.